Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we dive back into a series that I really never really played, but I love the art, the design, and pretty much everything behind the series except for its gameplay with Valkyrie Elysium. The Valkyrie Profile series always intrigued me in a way back when the PlayStation 1 was out with its incredible art, cinemas, and a new next-gen look that at the time was very incredible. Too bad I never really liked the gameplay to actually give the series a chance. I tried again when it came out on a PSP, but again I was very disappointed. When the PlayStation 4 and 5 version was announced, I thought it was just another trial run of the same series from Square Enix, but wanted Forspoken a lot more. Then the demo came out, and boy, Am I wrong? Valkyrie Elysium was developed and to be released by Square Enix in 2022 for the PlayStation 4 and 5. The game is a follow-up to Valkyrie Profile, Valkyrie Profile 2, Solmeria, and to Valkyrie Profile, Covenant of the Plum. But nowhere is this the same game. Only in design, story, and lore is this similar, but a standalone adventure action RPG. The demo covers the first chapter where they quickly explain the overall story of Odin that is severely injured in a world that has gone into chaos. As Odin recovers, he creates the Valkyrie in order to fend off all the evils of the world that is where the player really comes in. You take control of a Valkyrie created by Odin and is given the one mission to purge the world of evil. Travel to Midgard and purify its lost souls. Even as we speak, the stagnating souls multiply. Purification will stem the effects of Ragnarok. It shall be done as you wish, Allfather. The demo takes you on a rather lengthy tutorial where you will train on how to fight and how to use the mechanics and powers that are given to you as you travel from one area to another. You are also able to summon aid from other souls that take up your cause as well. The tutorial shows all the ways to use your powers and how to use them effectively before you play the first chapter. I found this very interesting as once I began the first chapter, I felt very comfortable with the gameplay and controls and I, it looks like I've been playing the game for a while rather than just the first 10 to 15 minutes. Awaken, my Leave it to me. Do not hesitate. I'll pick off the ones in the distance, too. The game covers the first chapter, which is about an hour long, but also has some side quests just like an open world game. I was able to finish the first chapter and then return to finish the side quests that were not very long at all, just about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. The only issue I had was they felt more like a level up sequence than something that really can change the story or add to it. The gameplay here is pretty much fantastic as they took a bunch of ideas from other combat fighting games and incorporated in their own style here. The action is smooth and really becomes an action adventure RPG with just the elements. I love this use of a spiritual type of whip that the Valkyrie can use to get to higher ledges and use in combat. My first thought was of course Spider-Man. I didn't really have to move as it locks onto your enemy and takes you straight there just like a web as you continue to attack and use different combos you learn. It seems very simplistic but adding 
your summons, magic, and your whip, you come up with a very pleasing and responsive combat system is where I love the game the most. Some of the RPG elements allows you to collect shards, gems, and whatever you can find and able to level up your character and weapons, which makes the weapon stronger as you unlock different ways to unlock combos and different ways to fight. And you can also try them out in a, in a training session just like Devil May Cry. This made me want to repeat to get to the next combo with the two swords they give you and awesome to try. Both are really, really fun to use and very different as you attack and makes this game much more satisfying. The visuals here are nice, but due to the game also being on a PlayStation 4, I feel that the game does hold back. Although the animation and gameplay is smooth as silk, there were pop-ins and draw distance concerns that actually surprised me. Yes, the visuals are designed nicely, but I feel that it's a PS4 version pushed in resolution to 4K crispness at 60 frames per second is what you really are getting here. Not to say that it's low in quality at all, it just feels like it could be more, especially for the PlayStation 5. The sound and voice work is great, as I feel like all English actors will forever voice English subtitles and characters as long as it is an RPG, and it feels like that's the safest way to go. No complaints here, as they just sound great. My one real con here is that the game just feels like it could be better on the PS5s and I hate the design for Odin. I always pictured a more older character design like how Anthony Hopkins portrayed in Thor. The young version look just doesn't have that wisdom that the character provides. And of course, no beard? Ugh, just come on man. Overall, the game feels and plays excellent. Although I thought the visuals and design could go a bit further, it is still a beautiful game. So far, for the first time, I'm looking forward to playing a Valkyrie game than just looking at the visuals and cinemas. This is a great beginning and hopefully the game's story is just that much more intriguing as the combat system. Definitely a surprise game for me and very promising. That's it for this demo preview look at Valkyrie Elysium. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here. And I will see you all on the next upload. No, wait. It's a... A nagel fall. Wretched soul. By Odin's command, you shall be purified. Damn.